Welcome to the enigmatic world of cinematic history, where bolts, monsters, and a chilling tale unfold in James Whale's 1935 classic, The Bride of Frankenstein. As we delve into the captivating universe of this iconic film, one can't help but wonder, are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about this movie that fascinate you? Or perhaps, do you have a cherished memory associated with this cinematic masterpiece? Now, let's shine a spotlight on some intriguing details about this timeless creation. A sequel to the groundbreaking Frankenstein, Wales' The Bride of Frankenstein continued to shape the horror genre. Did you know that Elsa Lanchester, who portrayed the electrifying bride, also played the role of Mary Shelley in the film's prologue? Such nuances add layers to the narrative, making the film a nuanced exploration of creation and its consequences. Speaking of nuances, director James Whale, known for his meticulous approach, cleverly infused humor into the dark narrative. The character of Dr. Pretorius, a mad scientist seeking to rival Dr. Frankenstein, adds a touch of eccentricity to the tale, creating a unique blend of horror and humor. As we unfold these cinematic gems, we're curious. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this film? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Enter the eerie world of The Bride of Frankenstein, where bolts and brilliance collide, creating a cinematic legacy that continues to captivate audiences. From lesser-known tidbits to personal reflections, let's unravel the layers of this classic together. In The Bride of Frankenstein, a 1935 classic, one notable behind-the-scenes fact is the alteration of a line spoken by Pretorius. Originally, his derogatory remark about fairy tales got swapped with Bible stories due to censorship concerns. However, Ernest the Siger's delivery of these two words oozed sneering contempt, making censors regret their decision. Another intriguing aspect is Elsa Lanchester's portrayal of the bride. Despite her iconic role, Lanchester never received on-screen credit for it. The character is simply listed as played by an enigmatic question mark. Delving into the laborious preparations for the film, Elsa Lanchester shared that her bride makeup demanded three hours for her face alone. In contrast, Boris Karloff, who played the infamous Frankenstein's monster, endured a five-hour makeup session. These tidbits illuminate the meticulous details that contributed to the film's enduring allure. From altered lines to uncredited performances and the extensive makeup process, The Bride of Frankenstein remains a testament to the craftsmanship behind cinematic classics. Elsa Lanchester's portrayal of The Bride in the 1935 classic film presents a remarkable behind-the-scenes tale. Trust up tightly in bandages for days, Lanchester, the enigmatic question mark in the credits, faced the challenge of being fed by her dresser as even her fingers were tightly wrapped. The meticulous details of her eerie makeup, demanding three hours for her face alone, shed light on the laborious preparations for this cinematic gem. Contrary to common belief, Henry Frankenstein, a hare or baron in both Frankenstein and Bride of Frankenstein, was a doctor. He abandoned medical school, deeming it inadequate for what he sought to learn. The film, promising a lifetime of entertainment in two hours, eventually ran for a concise 75 minutes, deviating from its initial trailer. These intriguing facets, from Lanchester's bound portrayal to the misrepresentation of Henry Frankenstein, showcased the layers beneath the enduring allure of this cinematic masterpiece. This succinct glimpse into the lesser-known aspects of The Bride of Frankenstein unveils the challenges faced by its cast, and the subtle deviations from the promised runtime further enriching the appreciation for the 1935 film. Bela Lugosi, famed for his iconic portrayal of Dracula, was initially considered for the role of Dr. Pretorius in the 1935 film. However, the part eventually went to Ernest the Siger. In an interesting twist, during the bottle sequence in Pretorius' apartment, the miniature devil character was played by Peter Shaw, who served as the Siger's stand-in and film double. It's a subtle behind-the-scenes detail that adds a layer to the Siger's performance. Another intriguing aspect of the film's production lies in the creation of the monster's dialogue. James Whale, the director, along with the studio psychiatrist, carefully selected 44 simple words for the monster's vocabulary. Their method involved examining test papers of 10-year-olds working at the studio. 
This meticulous approach aimed to capture the essence of the monster's character, giving him a distinct and memorable presence. These details shed light on the meticulous decisions and collaborations that shaped the Bride of Frankenstein. While Lugosi's potential involvement could have taken the film in a different direction, the choice of the Siger and the unique casting for the miniature devil sequence showcased the thoughtfulness that went into creating this cinematic classic. Likewise, the deliberate selection of the monster's vocabulary reflects the dedication to authenticity in bringing this iconic character to life on the silver screen. In exploring these lesser-known facets, we gain a deeper appreciation for the intricacies that contribute to the enduring allure of The Bride of Frankenstein, a testament to the craftsmanship behind cinematic classics. Filming The Bride of Frankenstein demanded precision, a testament to the meticulous craft behind cinematic classics. Shot in a brisk 46 days, the production efficiently brought the tale to life, investing approximately $400,000 in the endeavor. This financial commitment reflected in the details, such as Boris Karloff's dedication to his role as the infamous Frankenstein's monster. Laboring in the hot costume and makeup, Karloff shed 20 pounds, underlining the physical toll of his portrayal. The narrative seamlessly continued from the original Frankenstein, albeit with a subtle shift. Valerie Hobson replaced me Clark as Elizabeth, the change in hair color a noticeable detail. This alteration was necessitated by Clark's illness at the time, creating an unexpected visual shift for viewers as the Bride of Frankenstein picked up right where its predecessor left off. This relentless pace of production, coupled with the significant cost, speaks to the commitment of those involved in bringing the Bride of Frankenstein to the silver screen. From Karloff's weight loss to the swift replacement of me Clark, each detail adds depth to the layers of craftsmanship shaping this cinematic gem, a captivating exploration into the world of horror. In the making of The Bride of Frankenstein, director James Whale set a crucial condition for himself complete artistic freedom. This unique opportunity arose because Universal's studio head, Carl Lemel Jr., happened to be vacationing in Europe during the film's production. With Lemel away, Whale had the liberty to shape the movie according to his vision. One notable aspect of the film's creation is the design of the bride herself. While credited to James Whale, editor Ted J. Kent revealed that Elsa Lanchester, who portrayed the bride, perceived makeup artist Jack P. Pierce as a creator with godlike arrogance. Lanchester described Pierce's demeanor during the makeup sessions as if he were a scientist fashioning human beings. This insight adds a layer to the behind-the-scenes dynamics of bringing the iconic characters to life. During the filming of the scene where the monster emerges from the Burt Windmill, Boris Karloff, who played the infamous monster, faced a challenging incident. He slipped and fell into a water-filled well, dislocating his hip in the process. Despite the injury, Karloff soldiered on, with his dislocated hip strapped into place. This incident sheds light on the actor's dedication and the challenges faced during the production of The Bride of Frankenstein. From the director's artistic freedom to the unique dynamics of character creation and the challenges faced by the actors, these behind-the-scenes insights provide a captivating glimpse into the making of this cinematic classic, a testament to the craftsmanship that brought The Bride of Frankenstein to life. As our journey through the captivating tale of that iconic cinematic masterpiece draws to a close, Im left pondering the myriad emotions it has stirred within us. The Bride's creation, a fusion of eerie allure and human longing, has resonated across generations, inviting us into its enigmatic world of love, fear, and the macabre. Perhaps you've found solace in the hauntingly beautiful visuals, or maybe the narrative's depth has sparked introspection about the essence of humanity and acceptance. Whatever the allure, it's these personal connections that make this film timeless. If you've been touched by this cinematic gem, I invite you to share your cherished thoughts and memories. Let your voice echo amidst the whispers of those who've been entranced by this cinematic marvel. Your insights, reflections, and anecdotes form a tapestry of appreciation for this enduring classic. Thank you for taking this moment to reflect on your journey through the Bride of Frankenstein's haunting realms. Your engagement enriches this timeless narrative.